Hey everybody, welcome to World of Clig. Uh, this channel we're talking about all kinds of things that affects the build, maintain it, anything comes across my desk. Uh, as you know, I've been testing a lot of uh, brushless motors. And I get a lot of comments, questions asking how the motors compare if they have the same load and uh, under the same conditions. How would they compare? What's the power draw? What's the amp draw in those conditions? So, after banging my head against uh, a bunch of different ideas and came out with a bunch of different designs and stuff like that, I believe I stumbled upon a contraption that I was able to put together. And, uh, well, let me show you what I have. All right, everybody. This is my contraption. I call it JR Motor Testing. Now... The JR does not stand for Junior. The JR stands for Jerry Rig. That's right, Jerry Rig Motor Testing. Now this right here, now you've seen the Loadmaster. The Loadmaster is this unit here where you have two motors in it and then uh, you have a collar on there and, it's, and the drive motor will spin the load, the load motor. And it's an excellent tool for seeing if your drive motor is wearing out, if it's getting old, or, or what have you. So, however, if you're comparing motors, which one's the fastest, which one's going to be the best for this track, a short course track where it's zippy, real tight corners versus a really fast pace track, which one is going to be the best motor? That's a question I kept getting. So, that's where I came up with the idea for this one. Now, this one here, if you notice, these motor mounts are staggered. I can actually adjust it. I just loosen up the, the nuts here on the side, and I can move the motors side to side. So, if I have a drive motor here, or, or a, I'm sorry, the load motor on this side, I can gear this motor to spin the load motor the same speed as this motor it will. So if this one right here is running 25,000 RPMs without a load, this one's here is 22,000 RPMs without a load, how would they fare with a load? How would they fare if I was putting the same amount of, of load on each motor? Because the faster you spin this mo the load motor, the more of a load it is on the drive motor. So if this is spinning 25,000 RPM, this is going to put a heavier load on this one. So you're not going to be able to get a really good comparison that way. Um, so basically how this works also is I have hooked up to the resistors. Um, the resistors from WMH Racing. These are the motor mounts from WMH Racing. I have it hooked up to the tunalizer. Now I can I can test these motors by two things. Number one, I have a meter here. I can hook this meter up to these wires, put a lead on each one, or not each one, just put a lead here and a lead there, because it's a AC current. Doesn't matter which one, how I hook it up. Or I can use a, a RPM gauge here and this right here if you look at this gear here I have it uh, set up to where this right here will read it so you know what let me go ahead and give you a demonstration So here I have it hooked up. I have a uh, for this test. I'll use the the Hobbywing G4R, and I'll com I'll put it up against the uh, the Tekken R2. Uh, they're both 17.5s. This is also the Elite motor. Um, they're about the same price. One hundred thirty dollars for the Tekken, one hundred twenty five for that one. So they're comparable in price. The Tekken, however. <clears throat> the uh, the RPMs on that one without a load 
is 21,600 RPMs. The G4R with that load is 25,000 RPMs. That's with, like I said, unloaded. So I'm going to start this one off with a with a lower gear for the pinion because it's obviously going to be spinning faster. And uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll see what we what we get now. If you look over here at the meter, you see how I spin it, the numbers change because it's generating power. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this motor to match the power of this one. Alright, and then we'll uh, look at the temp and see how it works. There we go. Test number one with the Hobbywing G4R. Okay, and now another thing I could do with this as well is say, okay, what is the power on how much juice will it take or on here, what will it be at if I put at say... Around 50% throttle. I can look at that and see, how, see if you're just uh, going, if you're not going full throttle, what's going to be the amp draw. Now, I'll hook up the Tekken and see what that one does. But f first off, let's do this. Here's a drawn nine amps. Nine amps is what this one draws at the uh, voltage I pull on this was uh, 4.369. So, all right, let's swap it out and uh, gear this one to match this. Okay, now I have the Tekken in here. Now, if you remember right, the Tekken was uh, was a bit slower. It was almost it was about 1,800 RPM slower. What I had to do to get this to spin this load motor the same speed is I had to bump this up to a 32 tooth. Now, the, uh, the other uh, pinion on the hobby wing was a 28 tooth. 32 tooth right here. That's four teeth big. That's quite a big jump. So let's uh let's kick it on and you can see the last one was 4.369 volts. So let's see what this one does. Okay, as you can see, when I bumped this up four teeth, it was pretty much exact, 4.369. Uh, now the uh, hobby wing, it did its amp draw was approximately 9.14, where the amp draw on this one is a 9.63. So, um, the big thing is, is how much was this one, how hard was this one really working? So what I'm going to do in my test, I'm actually going to run approximately 10, 15, maybe 20 second um, cycles with these and see what the temperature is, see how high the temperature goes and see which one is actually truly generating the most heat. Uh, why that is important is some people like to gear these motors until right before it's thermal meltdown. So, um, we'll be able to see what happens. Well, let's do a, uh, a test and see how this thing, 
how well it works and how it spins through the uh, through the test cycles. Yeah, it came out at 9.63. So, yeah, this, from what it's shown, from what I see, this right here has a little bit more torque, but again, what's really going to tell the difference is when I start running the temperatures on them and see what happens from there. But, this right here is to give you an idea of my new toy that I'm going to be working with, to, using the test motors and compare the motors. So, it's a, uh, better understanding on what the numbers mean um, but yeah uh, if you guys want to see more of these testings I will start doing the testings on them all the motors I have the uh, the Tekken um, R2 the G4 R2 I have the uh, the hobby wing that I'm gonna do the comparison on I have a Trinity slot machine this right here is the 5% uh, certified motor and I have the surpassed uh, heavyweight and I also have the surpassed lightweight these motors I still have the other ones I got rid of um, like I said these motors I have to purchase them myself nobody gives them to me um, that's one reason why it takes a little bit of time for me to between motor tests I have to go out there and buy new motors all the time but yeah, anyhow, all right guys, um, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, you wanna see more of these tests on the uh, on the JR motor tester, I'll just call him Jerry. Wanna see more motor tests on Jerry? Hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, if you don't wanna see him, hit the like and subscribe button anyway, just so you can make fun of all my tests. All right, everybody, you take care.